talk a little bit about the game today. Well, look, you know, we it's been a while since we've won on the road. So first and foremost, that's that's huge that we got three points against a, a good Philadelphia Union team. So look, the red card uh, helped us in some ways, and sometimes it, it makes it harder. But our guys stuck with it. And I think all day had a good approach to the game and good mentality. And, you know, maybe we could have scored a few with Brad up top earlier. And, uh, you know, we conceded a few too. So, you know, this team knows us well. We know them well. And give our guys a lot of credit on a hot day come away with three points. There was a little bit of a formation switch with Kleshin kind of dropping back a little bit. What led to that and sort of what did you see afterwards? Yeah, we've flirted with that in the past, you know, uh, in training. And, you know, we know Sasha's qualities deeper can, can help the team get out of the back and, and quarterback from back there. And we know that Felipe's qualities, um, you know, he's active up the field. He loves to, 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 you know, sit in those pockets and turn and face goal and make final plays but uh, and help us counter press a little bit. So. It was, we think it was a good switch, and uh, I think it was effective on the day. What are you feeling about what you're getting from the wide players right right now? I mean, obviously, you, you, know, you had the results on the goal, but the whole, whole game, it's more of a threat. Yeah, well, look, I mean, one, one comes from uh, Kamar Lawrence, who got himself in some good spots. Uh, he's really a, a defensive left back, but has shown an ability to get forward this year. He's helped us in a bunch of uh, moments score goals this year. So he comes on at halftime and, and you know, he helps us. Brad makes a great near post run, so we knew that that's where the space would be in the wide areas, and so Kamar helped us there. And then Sal Zizzo, uh, who's been an outside right back for us this year, we put him in a more of attacking role because we know he can make final plays and, and brings quality and some speed on the flank. Again, where we knew there might be space, and you know he didn't uh, get as many touches as we'd like, but sure, he, he made the one uh, add up. I mean, is that? It? Is that something you're, you're looking for more, especially with when, now that now the Brad is, seems to be more sort of playing more up front? More up front. Um, look, I mean, I think anyone who knows our team, we're not we're not a team that spaces the field and tries to big switches and, and really play in the wide channels. That's really not our team. Um, we do try to play more in the interior, and our wide guys, you know, the, the Alex Mules, the Danny Royers, they, we ask them to come more interior to find the game, and we we're looking to go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we part of that with your outside midfielders being playing in those interior spots is, leaves room for the outside backs. So, again, in certain games, um, especially when there was a red card when the teams sat back, that's where we thought there would be some space. And it looked for a little bit that we might not be able to, to get one because Philly did a good job defending. But, uh, yeah, we broke through. What was it like for the head coach to us sprint up the field in the final minutes like that to catch a play? <laughs> yeah, besides thinking, uh, don't mess this up, uh, guys. Um, yeah, look, he's, it doesn't, you know, I think we had a good handle on the game there, and it's just, uh, you know, didn't really think too much about it. We knew beforehand that might, might be the case, and, and I think we, we, there's always dialogue going of what the final minutes would look like, and we had some good talk going into it, uh, how to manage the end of the game, if we, we needed to push, it, push the game or... To, to close it out, so it didn't. It was very felt comfortable. Brad had some struggles early; couldn't find the back of the net. Ends up putting two in late in the game. Sort of, is he the guy that kind of sticks with it and sort of just keeps his mind clear and fresh, or is that something he sort of may build upon throughout the game? Look, I, I think goal scorers they can ride the waves, you know, and when they when they get going, there's nothing you know they can't miss. And uh, but Brad has a good mentality, you know. He he. I know we always say the next play, the next play, and look, he, the work was there, and, and he's showing up in spots, and he put himself in some good spots, but he wanted to be out there. You can tell he's still working, still running hard, and he's a goal scorer. There's a reason why in the last two or three years he's number one in the league with this, so uh, we believe in him. He knows that, and, and he's our guy up there, so we, we could have made a change uh, otherwise, but we know exactly why we discussed why to leave him in, and uh, it paid off. Can I just ask you a little bit about the last time you guys played here in a very tight game until late on, suddenly you just sort of blew up. And, like, just what you see in like, the, little, the little things that make the differences in games like this, apart from the red card. Yeah, I think it always is the little things, whether it's the Champions League, Champions League final or Philly Union versus the Red Bulls. I mean, uh, you know, if you think back to last game, the first goal is it's, it's so strange. I would say, out of nothing, they clear the ball and we ma ma mismanage the play in a few ways, um, 
But up until that point, we thought we had a really good handle on the game, especially in the second half. We thought it was one of our best starts to the year in the second half. So, and then of course, it's a handball that, that's at your side. So it, I don't even think we imploded on the day. We, we stuck after it in a good way. It was just one of those days, we, you know, probably the anomaly. So look, the results haven't been great this year for us. And we've had little things, to your point, cost us games. And that's what it is though. So especially the way we play, where we lots of times have the ball, we have, have possession, we're up the field, vulnerable to counterattacks, you know, if, and not even today. Um, yeah, they're very capable. Pontius gets a header uh, in the first half. There's a couple of moments of some counterattacks and some fouls unnecessarily around our box that put us in, in bad spots. So as much as you can have handle on games, I mean, lots of times if you lose focus and discipline and... and you know, this can cost it. This is the difference in, in a league that's so tight. Hey, what did they plan for a new coaching wise this week? And just when does that Jeff get back? Is it Friday? Or? Yeah, he'll be back uh, towards the end of the week. I believe it's Friday. And, and um, yeah, we again, we've talked uh, in detail what the week would look like and what, what uh, you know, we have a, a typical schedule that we go to. Uh, the good thing is that we're playing an opponent next weekend. Uh, we just played, so the preparation is we know we know almost to repeat what we just went through last week. Um, so yeah, we were off for a couple of days. We, were, uh, we had a, a long week this week uh, with two games in the week, and um, we have a good plan going into New York. But right now, it's about enjoying this this win, stay stay uh, with a good mentality, and, and get ready physically and mentally for what's what's ahead. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. All right, guys. Thank you.